Hey everybody, this is Barbara from barbarajournals.com and today I want to show you guys how to make your PDFs that you create on Canva editable. So I just did a sample one on here. So as you can see, it has lines, it has the open space, it has the shaded box, and then it has the check boxes. So I'm gonna show you how you can make this entire thing um, completely editable, editable, sorry about that. So I am using Canva Pro, which is the paid version of Canva. So if you guys want to try it out for free for 30 days, just click the link below the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this as a PDF. And then once it's completely downloaded, I'm gonna go over to pdfescape.com and I'm gonna drag it up and drop it here. Once it has been processed, you will get a screen like this. So you can see your three pages are over here. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just so that you can see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on form field. It's already on text, so I'm gonna hit select. And what that does is it gives me the text box that I can create. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this out. Make this a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna have about that size. And what I'm gonna do is when I'm in here, I'm gonna make this about 20 because I found that 20 makes it a pretty good size as far as for typing. So now that I have that, let me make sure it went to 20. Okay. And I may make it a little bit smaller. I'll keep it at that size. So then I'm gonna right click and hit duplicate and then go ahead and put it in here. And you may have to play around with it a little bit as far as to get it perfect. So if I make this about a 100, I can see better. So if I wanna make this, like put it right on the line, I can do that. Okay, so I'll do one more. I've clicked on it, hit duplicate, and I dragged it and I put it right on the line. And the boxes and the squares do kind of help you as far as with making sure that you get it where you want it to be. So that's how you do the lines. I'm not gonna do all of them. I just wanted to give you an idea. And then here, let me make this fit. I'm sorry, make this at 50%. So for this one, I'm gonna do form field and instead of text, I'm gonna select text box. Hit select. And for this one, I'm just gonna drag it out and just have it take up the whole space. As you can see right here, maybe about here. And then as I'm typing, of course, I can hit enter and go down to the next line. So I just wanted to show you that. And then finally for, oops, Sorry about that. Down here, for this one now, of course, I'm gonna do what I did up top. I'm in, I am gonna make this one a text box. So I'm gonna go ahead and format that here. And then oh, down here where it has, down here where it has the um, check box, I'm gonna do form field and I'm gonna change that to check box. And then I can make it the size that I want it to be, which this is about right. Let me see. Let's make that about a hundred. I want to let me fix this first, just because I don't think it's going to let me. I'm gonna have to go back up and fix that one. Uh, let me fix the checkbox first. Okay, that's that one. And this one, I'm gonna hit delete object and let me see, pull this out a little bit. Make it take up the whole square. There we go. So then all I gotta do is right click, duplicate. And it fits right there. Oops. 
I must have hit I hit delete. I I hit delete by accident. I'm sorry. So make that even. Go down here. Duplicate. Drag it down. And then of course I have my lines over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do form field text. Drag that out make it a little bit smaller and all of this is still in 20 right click duplicate and I'm again I'm just going to do a couple lines because I want to show you guys what it looks like once you download it duplicate all right and then I'm gonna go up here and I know it's slightly off but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea I do want to delete this object and I'm going to do it again so I'm gonna do form field text paragraph Click inside, and I think I want it a little bit over so. All right. There we go. So I have all of that. So what I'm going to do now is, so I have a couple of areas that's shaded. I'm going to go ahead and save this or download it. Save and download. So now when I go ahead and open it, you know what, not on this one. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and open it on um, my PD. I'm gonna go ahead and open it on Canva. Not Canva, I'm sorry, on Adobe. So I'm gonna go to down here for my Adobe and I'm gonna go ahead and do file, Hold on, let's see, because I have so many files that's open. Let's do my computer. And then let's do download. And from download, let's go ahead and grab the file. So I think it's this one. And as you can see, it is now easy for me to edit right on Adobe. So let's say I say, um, I can do all things. Christ. All right, so I did that one. So then I'm gonna go down to the box. All right, so you see that I'm I'm able to um, edit this one. So I can um, go ahead and get that done. And then finally down here, I, mean, I don't like the way this one showed up because this one is just an all black. So I'm not really feeling this one. Oh, sorry about that. All right, here. It's shaded, but it's still letting me type on it. So up top, that must have been a, um, a glitch up top. Because it's clear now. Okay, cool. And then down here, check mark and go ahead and let's say, um, let's make it like this. So wash clothes. Um, uh, let's say gas and car I'm just trying to give you an idea so as you can see all of these are made to easily edit it trying to think of something else um, all right so I have all of these I'm trying to make sure I got something in all of them I think I do so I'm gonna go ahead and file save as, and I'm going to call this um, the edit version of it. And I'm going to see what it looks like once we do that. So we're going to put it there and let's make it um, file edited. All right, we're going to save that. So I'm going to close this and then I am going to Go ahead and open it. 
and there we go. All right. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But this is, um, I found to be an easy hack in regards to making the files easily edited because I know um, a lot of people are doing digital planning. But I think this is amazing. If you still want to create printables, you may not be ready to jump full speed ahead into creating digital planners, which I am actually doing now. But I like that I can now sell my printables not only for the person to print and write on, but they can actually go ahead and type directly on the file. So if you have any questions or concerns or if you have feedback, definitely feel free to leave a comment below. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have an amazing day.